Hi ladies, Heather Pillow here. So I had a great question from one of our new team members about what's the best way to start a conversation about the business without being um, overbearing or gross or scary when you're out in public just looking to meet new women. And I really find for me, it just for years and years, trying to use someone else's words just wasn't effective. It always felt very canned and so it wasn't natural and because it wasn't natural I stumbled and stuttered and it just felt weird. So a little exercise that I would encourage you to do. So Pure Romance's tagline is empower, educate, entertain, right? And generally each consultant identifies with one of those three more than the other two naturally. Doesn't mean that you don't believe in them and you don't work to achieve them, but there's one that's just a natural fit for your personality. For me, it's entertain. So when people ask me what I do if I'm at a cocktail party or a wedding or, you know, wherever, and they say, oh, well, you know, what do you do for a living? I say, I actually own a business where I help women just like us plan really super fun ladies' night out events. That's it. Because honestly, like 90% of what I do in my own business is party planning, right? So that's what feels natural to me. So you're going to have to figure out the words that feel natural for you. And if let's say you're someone that identifies with empower, you feel very strongly about that. If the word empower is not part of your normal daily uh, verbatim, right, then you're not going to use that word. You're going to use words that you associate with that, like help and teach, um, those kinds of things. So. Um, same thing for educate, you'll have to figure out how to use the words that are natural for you. And this is a good brainstorming activity um, in your new consultant training. So definitely make sure you do that. Now, the way that I approach people just in general, if I'm at Starbucks or Target or the mall or a concert or whatever, is just by striking up a conversation with them just like I would with anyone else. Cute shoes, great handbag, oh my gosh, your kids are beautiful, they're so well behaved, blah, 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 whatever. Like if they're a mom and their kids are well behaved and you acknowledge it, best compliment ever, right? Um, so you just start chatting with them. You have to stop looking at them as potential clients and look at them as potential friends because that's really what these women should become when they do become your clients, right? So if I say to somebody, hey, I love your bag, where'd you get that? First of all, she's gonna tell you everything there is to know about it, whether she got it on deal, if they're still selling them, if you've got a coupon you can find online, like we love to brag about our accessories and the fun deals that we found, right? And you can say, oh, that's so great. I am always looking for really cute bags. When I'm doing my shows, I need to be able to carry my stuff, right? And she's gonna say, oh, well, what kind of a show do you do? Oh, I own a pure romance business. I do fun parties for ladies like us. May I give you my business card? Just that easy, right? So um, just make sure that it feels like you're talking to a friend. It, it takes some practice. It's gonna take some cojones initially, like I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, there's gonna be times when you're gonna be all bowed up and you're gonna be like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna talk to her. And then she's gonna walk out and you're gonna be like, ugh. And you'll be more frustrated with yourself that you didn't talk to her than that you did try to talk to her and maybe kind of fumbled through it. So um, my recommendation is to go out with another sister or even just a friend and work them all. Go to the makeup counters, go to the salons, go to spas, go where women hang out and go talk to them. So easy to do. I will tell you that in all of my years in business, I've been in business for a decade, two people, two in all those years have ever turned up their nose when I've offered them a business card. And that was in my first year of business. And I definitely didn't really know what I was doing and wasn't very smooth about it. So in all these years, everybody's always, if nothing else, curious, but most of the time they're like, that's fun. Or, oh my gosh, I have a girlfriend that just went to those. Or I've been invited to like six of those and I never get to go. They're excited, they're enthusiastic. We are providing a service that you cannot get anywhere else. So be proud, be excited about the fact that you have something to offer that they can't get just anywhere. So um, my recommendation is that underneath this video, you practice some words, post some words that you're excited to use, ask some questions, make your own little video and post it here and we'll give you some feedback because it really is a matter of just practicing your words. Hope you girls found that helpful. See you next time. Mwah.